everybody. Gina DeLuca here. All right, so uh, I've been out for a bit. I have been on vacation, and then I had uh, an art show to get ready for, which I have almost 50 paintings hanging in, so that was a lot of varnishing, which takes up my workspace. So I haven't been able to paint, but today we're doing some product testing on a new product. Check it out. Artist Loft now has their own line of pouring paints and they have a pouring medium. Uh, I will say these are not cheap. This is a 16.9 ounce bottle and they retail at $14.99. Uh, Artist Loft is Michael's brand. Uh, folks that are not in the U.S., I don't know if this stuff is available to you. Um, but, yeah, so it's it's not cheap. We'll say that. The pouring medium, the smaller bottle, is 8.4 ounce, and this was $8. And they have uh, this size that I think was also $15, um, I think. So uh, definitely not cheaper than Floetrol. Uh, there's not much information on the back. It says pour onto canvas or other hard substrates directly. No need to dilute with mediums. Dries within 24 hours. Uh, and it says it has a glossy finish, finish once dry. It does not give you any information about... Uh, whether it's opaque or transparent, but I will say when I was peeling off the um, the little seals that come on there, they do not look very opaque. Although this color, looking at it, because it, you could tell it has white in it, should be an opaque. If you just go by uh, other paints, you know, generally, if it looks like it needed white in it to lighten it, it's an opaque. This is aqua green, and their tube paint of aqua green is opaque. This is violet. Violet usually um, is uh, several colors, several pigments mixed together, and is often transparent. And gold metallics are always opaque just because the mica keeps the uh, the light from getting through, which makes it opaque. I'm gonna put this in a cup just so we can get a an idea of what the consistency actually is. Okay, that's actually pretty thin. It's not forming a mound. Just a barely, barely forming a mound. And you can see if I drizzle it down the side of the cup, it looks, oh, you can't see that, can you? Let's see, do it this way. Um, it, it's somewhat translucent. You can see that, okay. I'm going to start with a ring pour. I always like to test a ring pour. That tells me if the colors hold their independence or if they're going to blend. How does it look on the side when it drizzles off? Does it maintain the lines? Do they disappear? Will it sell? Uh, I, when I'm testing new stuff, a ring pour is the first thing I test. I have here some Liquitex Basics. In titanium white, I'm using that as my base coat. That has been mixed uh, with Floetrol and with the Artist Loft pouring medium and some water until I get the same consistency as the other paints or thinner. You just don't want your base coat thicker than the paints that you're pouring. So let's actually lay this base 
down first. Alrighty, I'm gonna put some paint in the cup. Try to layer this gently. You can tell how sheer that is. So it will be interesting to see what happens here. There's a fly in here and Satchmo is trying to get himself a sky raisin. So if you hear lots of noise, that's my boy. Okay, this will be plenty of paint, more than enough actually. Let's do this. Till I'm out of practice. All right, where are we gonna go first? I would like to accentuate this corner because it has a nice blend of all the colors. So I'm gonna stretch that out. Right, I'm gonna scrape these sides. Scrape the drips to keep it from pulling the rest of the paint off. I'm gonna clean up and bring you in for a close up. Okay. The gold is very pretty. 
but the other colors are very muted. Now, I did start with a base coat of white and it did have Floetrol in it. So did that skew the outcome? So I think what I need to do is I will just do another painting with just those paints. But you can see on the edges, it did not really hold the lines. But no cells. So there's that. And we will see how this dries. Uh, I will show the dried piece uh, at the end of the next painting. I will just do another ring pour uh, without the base coat and see if that makes a difference. And so I will compare the two at the end of the next video. In the meantime, please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar. If you find these tutorials helpful and would like to help me stay stocked up in supplies to test for you, that's a great way to do it. Also, the link to the Amazon store, most of the products that I use are available in the Amazon store, but also anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, if you enter through that link, I make a small commission of at no additional cost to you. Uh, do check out my website, GinaDeLuca.net, to purchase my art and my new CD, Better Than Chocolate. My old CDs are there as well, but uh, I'm very proud of this new one. And um, what else? Oh, go make some art. Join our Facebook group. Post your masterpieces, ask your questions, or just come get some inspiration. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Stay tuned for the next video to see this dry piece. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.